Hello. So we're back with our little duckling and now we're going to make an egg for our duckling to hatch out of. So for this project, all you need are the two pieces of the egg, two white ovals, and the needle and thread. Now, since you've already made your duck, you're gonna need a grown up to help you to put the th some more thread on your um, needle. And for the grown ups, um, I like with kids to just go ahead and make a double length. So I eyeballed it, just kind of went around the egg shape with the um, embroidery floss two times and threaded the needle and then um, just knotted the end to ends together like that. So when they pull the needle all the way through, the um, floss won't come out of um, the eye of the needle because it can't and that's a great way to start um, with sewing I think all right so here we go so for our egg to um, be able to open up a little bit so that the duckling can come out you're not gonna want to sew the whole thing shut right so we're gonna go ahead and leave the top part of the egg open so I'm gonna start over here just like we did with the duckling, I'm gonna start going just through the one layer. So the little tail of the yarn, the embroidery floss is gonna be inside our egg so it won't show so much. And then just like before, I'm gonna go through both layers from the front to the back, pull it all the way through so it's nice and snug and and do the same thing from the back to the front, going through both layers until it's nice and snug and you have a nice stitch. And Jed, I'm, Jed is uh, giving me some advice here. Thanks, Jed. I think I got it. This one doesn't have a tricky beak or anything like that, so I think it's actually easier than the duckling. Oopsie, sometimes that happens. It gets caught around there, no worries. Just pull it out again. Tug it till it's straight. I would just say that the one thing to keep an eye open on this one is that the two parts of the egg stay kind of pinched together between your finger and your thumb so you don't end up with like you don't want it to be kind of like lopsided like that. Um, sorry, like that. You want to have the two parts pretty close together and even so that your egg has a nice shape when you're done. And we're making our way almost all the way around. This is a fun time of year to go out to the park and see if you can spot some ducklings. And cute little mallard ducks are out at uh, lots of different parks with ponds at this time of the year. And like, like yellow Laurel and brown. Hurst. Yeah, like Laurelhurst is a good park to see them because it has a small pond, so it's pretty easy to spot the ducklings when they're there following their mama around. Okay, so we're almost all the way around to where we want to stop because we wanna make sure not to make it too hard for our duckling to hatch. Now in real life, when a baby bird hatches out of its egg, the egg is left behind. It's protected the baby bird until it was ready to be out 
in the world. And when it hatches, all that's left is that little shell, which is really fun to look at. Sometimes we find little eggshells um, in nests out in the woods or just on the ground. Really interesting. Different birds have different colors for their eggs. Um, and it's fun to look at. But for our baby duck, we're gonna give him a chance to just be tucked into his eggshell whenever we want. So I left about this much of an opening. Can you see that? And I haven't tied off my thread yet because I just wanna make sure that my duckling fits. So he can go in really nicely. And then when he hatches, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> he can come out like that. So I'm gonna leave that opening right there. I decided that that's where I want it to be done. Not the top anymore? Yeah, no, not quite the top, Jed. Can you see? Because he's gonna come out right here. So now I'm gonna tie as a knot. jump from the top. Right, top. yeah, you probably wouldn't wanna jump. So again, like with the duckling, you're gonna wanna um, make a little knot. And um, I would suggest having mom or dad help you with this part. So I make a little loop. And just like when I'm tying my shoelace, you kind of go through like that. And you can pull it tight like that, but I like to do it two times just to make a nice secure double knot so I know it's not gonna come undone. I'm not a seamstress, so this is not really expert advice, but it has worked pretty well so far. Let me cut that knot right there, or cut the thread, I mean, right above the knot. And we don't need any comments from the peanut gallery over there, please, Bob. And um, now our little duckling and his egg are done. Oh, by the way, when you're all finished, make sure that you don't leave your needle lying around, okay? You wanna keep it in a safe place. I like to put it in a little piece of fabric. Just a minute, Jed, not right now. And um, store it with my sewing things or maybe um, one of your parents has um, like a little red tomato. That's a common thing you see in a sewing kit to put your um, needles in. Um, or you can also um, attach it to a magnet if you have like a flat magnet. Here, let me show you. These needles came on uh, like a refrigerator magnet kind of a thing and they just stick to it, which is another way to keep them safe because you don't want to end up um, having a needle land on the floor and getting poked with it. All right. So our duck project is done. I hope you have fun with it.